Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today we are on Friday Freebie 110. Now I've used the same sort of the same papers that we used in last week's one. Um, lots and lots of you loved it uh, because it's such a lovely sort of like neutrally colours, um, pretty colours, and you can sort of like um, add to it. Um, embellish it and it's not going to sort of like take away from it it's lovely so you're probably wondering why I've got lots of circles on here now this is really really nice and it's surprising what you can do with a circle um, so I know lots of you have die cuts um, and things like that that you can use and cutters um, and punches and things like that circle but a lot of us don't um, lots and lots of people don't have them so this is why I'm doing the circles for you and I'm going to show you what you can do they do have a little line down the side of it so it's not your printer they've got a little line down the side and that's for folding over okay so I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this this does go really really nicely with last week's um, with the wavy line so I'm going to show you what I have done Okay, so this was last week's, so this was the lovely um, wavy pockets that we had, and I know lots of you use these as templates, which was brilliant, um, and then you can have whatever papers um, and cut them out, so that's a fantastic idea, and as well, if you had them this way, it's a, it's a nice sort of like, you use them as heels and you use them as waves and things like that, so that was brilliant. So this week... This is what I have done with these circles, which I am absolutely loving. Now, the first thing I want to show you, if you can't cut out a circle, um, use some scissors. Use some, um, like, these little um, shaped scissors. Now, I have got a box of these here, like this. They are all gathering dust in here, and I haven't used them for ages. And I thought for some of you who can't cut out circles straight um, like that or find it really difficult, use um, these scissors to go around it because it's really, really good. Let me just show you, look, this is a piece of scrap paper. So you can just cut these and you've got like, it almost gives you like a ripped edge and I love it. So I think that's a really good idea. So then you don't have to have a sort of straight line. And that's what I've done on these. Now this is the bit where you bend over the little line. And I've just made some little notebooks on these. Um, different sizes. And I think they're really, really lovely. Super, super simple. And all I did was pop the paper inside. I folded up some paper. Let's have a look. I've just folded up some paper like this in half. This is tea stain paper. Um, popped this over the top like that. And then I drew around it. And then I just cut it out with some scissors like that. And then popped it inside. And then you've got your um, little pages in there. So I think they're really, really good to tuck in places. This one is a little pocket and I've just popped a little bow on here. So I've just got these as pockets and I think these look really nice in there. So it's almost like a double. Um, and I think these look a bit like this. If you did this in blue or something like that, it would go with a really nice um, um, sort of mermaid journal or something like that because I think they look like little oysters, don't they? When they're like jaggedy. And I just love them popped in here like that like little pockets I think that looks really really nice and you can have loads of journaling in there because they've got lots each one is I put four pages in there but I think that looks really nice or these ones as well I did and they go really well with last week's so that just pops in the little pockets like that so I think that looks really nice so it all mixes and matches. So if you had a special paper that you wanted to use, you could use both of them and pop them in there like that. So I think that looks good. So that's lovely. Um, and also they will take your journaling cards as well because they're obviously they're quite big um, like that. So I think they are lovely. And I've just popped a little bow. There's a piece of cotton hanging off there. I've just popped, I've attached my ribbon underneath this little bit here either end and I've just tied a little bow I did stick just these little bits down so it doesn't flop forward 
but I've also popped up that on there so if you put anything bigger in there it's not going to sort of like push it open but I'm just loving them I think they're really really good and then I've done this one here which I've made one of my little closures which is a little closure I've got a tutorial somewhere as well um, and that doesn't show through there like that um, sorry can you hear that aeroplane going past we are a stone's throw away from the beach and they do they go along the beach with their banners hanging out the back so it gets quite noisy sometimes um, especially now if we are in um, August so this is the little closure like that and then these I love this this just opens out like that so you can have all your little journaling spots and I think that looks really nice like that and then you just fold them in and you only need the closure on the bottom because this one holds them all down and what I've done I've just collaged them so I've used a little bit of tapeology there I've used some fabric I've used my butterflies my fussy cut flowers um, I actually printed my fussy cut flowers on some of my tea stain paper in the pack and I think it looks really really nice um, I've got one of my also one of my words and phrases there and again I've just built them up as they go through and I just love them so I'm loving this idea and again you can put them either side as well or you can just use one on a page as you go through and again use them as templates um, to cut out um, which is lovely so I just love it so I'm just going to show you how simple you don't really need a tutorial on this one do you um, because you know what it is so I've just got the little um, circles which I've cut out and where the lines are I'm just going to score it if I can find my little scorey thing I'm just going to pop that down there and then I'm just going to score them just down the side so this is why I've got the the little line down them because um, they will fit in together properly instead of sort of like guessing it and having you measure how far down they go I've just put the um, score line in so you just score it down oops don't push too hard so that's the little score line pop that to the side I'm going to get my book out again oh gosh I've got so much stuff on my desk and then we just fold it over like that just fold them over and there's so many different ways that you can just put them on your pages like this like that let's get a nice clean page I'm going to try and put a lot of the things we make for the Friday freebies in this book and um, then I've all got them there it's almost like my reference journal that I made fill it up so you can put them on the back like that so you've got a piece coming out there um, like that so they just open up so you can just have one per page or you can have two per page or you can have them from the top you can have them from the bottom you can layer them up now if you wanted to do this one you want to start with the bottom one first so you would st I'm not going to stick these on but you would stick that one on like that and then you would take your next one and stick it over the top and what I did I put that over the top I sort of like measured them like this so got so much stuff here so you don't want it to go over the top like that so they are sort of I will do that like this just to show you so have the little end bit there like that so we know roughly where they're going to be so you want to make them so they're even okay so we take this off we stick this piece down there like that and then I've taken that piece like that and then I marked it off actually with a pencil I marked this bit here so I know when you put the glue on and put that down you know where to stick this like that what am I doing so it sticks on there so this will stick down confusing myself there that sticks on there so when you open it up that is in the right place and then same with this one you stick that one on 
like that and stick that one on like that whoops like that so this one folds in first that one folds over the top of that one that one folds over the top of that one and that one folds over the top of that one and then again you can decorate it however you like um, which is nice and of course it doesn't really matter which side they go you can put them this side as well um, which is lovely so lots and lots of different options with these and it's just surprising as I say um, which is a circle you can put them on the inside as well like that you could put two together um, and then that one would open up and that one would open up actually you could probably put these underneath as well like that either side couldn't you so they, they would open up so they would open up and they would open up it's like a little flip over so huge amounts so I'm sure you guys will come up with lots and lots as well and again to make the pockets all as I did I got obviously they go they just slot them in over the top like that and then this one will go over the top like like that don't want to cover it up do we and then that one goes in over the top like that so that's your little section like that so then you just glue these one onto the other um, and they do all match up so they all line up nicely not that I'm showing you very well so that one will go in that sits on there and then that one sits on there like that and I think that's really good so again you could cut out another one of the bigger ones and stick it on the back and use it as like a little booklet um, with a little um, tucks here like that so you can put that on your page and then you've got four little tucks on there so have a play around with them and come up with lots of different ways that you can use them again just one per page one at the bottom you could pop something in there where's my little journaling card so you can pop that in there and then you've got a little tuck for a journaling card um, in there and you could have another one you could have them just as they go bigger and bigger throughout the book your journal but I'm loving them lots of different things so there we go guys that is your Friday freebie loving the way these have turned out I just love this stacked one um, I think it's really really lovely so there we go that is your Friday freebie for this week some circles so there we are um, again use them as templates as well um, and print them and put them onto different papers um, whatever you have but I'm loving these lighter ones because again you can see you can actually embellish them without um, you know and it will probably go into quite a few different journals as well so there we go guys that is your friday freebie for this week um, i hope you like it because i love it um, i absolutely love it it goes with this one last week these can come out these are lovely oops if i can get that one out oops these are i'm loving this one as well i think it's really really nice and if you can't cut straight lines just use your little scissors i can't remember what these are called now but this one's this maker spectrum so they're just sort of like scissors which are shaped i'm sure some of you will probably know what they're called but my mind's gone blank but there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the week or actually have a fantastic weekend um and i will see you all soon all right guys take care